Hey everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel and happy day 12 of the 30 days of Stephen Graham Jones, which is being hosted by Amanda from The Reading and Writing Life. So I will link her channel down below as well as the playlist for all of the videos. It will be updated as the videos come out. So please go check out her channel as well as all of the other amazing booktubers that are participating in this. And without further ado, let's just jump into my Stephen Graham Jones book, Mongrels. My first book by this author was The Only Good Indians, and I absolutely adored it. I read it last year, and I still think about it. So this is my second SGJ book. I was not disappointed. This book opens with the line, my grandfather used to tell me he was a werewolf. And thank you, Butch. My little hall monitor is getting on to Lucy. And he is born kind of an outsider. He is in a family of werewolves. But the thing is, in this community, you don't really know if you're going to shift or not. So you might go your whole life in a family of werewolves and never shift into one. But because you don't know, he is growing up with these stories and traditions of what it is to be a werewolf. And he, or spe more specifically, a mongrel, which is mixed blood. He is trying to decide if he belongs with his aunt and uncle who are werewolves or if he fits in better with the people on the other side, the normal humans. So we follow this protagonist for about 10 years in this non-linear timeline as they move from state to state, place to place, and we're learning more and more about him and his family and his culture. And we get short little vignette type scenes where we get an inside glimpse into his life and what it's like to be a mongrel or a werewolf. And this book, at first I thought I would not like it that much because there is a lot of animal death. You're dealing with wolves. It's a part of nature, but it was still very hard to read. <laughs> but in traditional Stephen Graham Jones fashion, he writes these horrific elements in such a poignant, sometimes beautiful way. Like there's a scene from The Only Good Indians that was incredibly disgusting but he wrote it in such a beautiful way that I will never forget it and his writing is just incredible like that but I really appreciated that this book is one that even though I finished it a few days ago I'm still thinking about it and I'm still thinking about what it means and how I can relate to it how others can relate to it and I really like how it centers the fear of the unknown with this protagonist and with these characters. It's a coming of age story. So I feel like it's things that all of us can relate to. The narrative structure of going between first person and third person kind of helps move the story forward and then it provides backstory, but it keeps it going forward. and. I think it just really speaks to how you feel growing up. You don't really know who you are yet. You're still learning. You're trying to figure out where you fit in. And I just thought just the, the narrative choices he made and the way he chose to tell the story were just perfect. I really enjoyed it. It was incredibly disgusting at parts, but I'm also not a horror reader. But I think even if you're not a horror reader, I think there are so many things in this book that you would enjoy or you would find relatable. And it's definitely a book 
that is just going to stick with me, just like the only good Indians. And I am very much looking forward to reading more of his incredibly prolific backlog. I think he's got 30, at least 30 published books, hundreds of short stories. There's things in all genres. There's something for everybody, which I think is one of the reasons why he definitely deserves to be celebrated as an author and as a writer. So have you read Mongrels? If so, please let me know. And also please check out the playlist. So tomorrow, make sure you go check out Evie from She Was Only Evie. She will be doing day 13. And as always, please, please, please go check out the other booktubers. They are fantastic. If you want to leave an emoji to let me know you're here, drop some kind of wolf or animal emoji down below. As always, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.